Z Lock Lemon. <laughs> he loves lemon. <laughs> he about lemoned up, I guess. A while ago, he just pulled. He's in a trance now. <laughs> He's like, y'all watching me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. He's getting reported, is what it is. <laughs> there he goes. He keeps falling down from that floor. That's what he does when we feed him. He just hides. <laughs> There it is, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Outfit blues. What do y'all think about that? Pretty cool little truck. Perfect day. Sun's out, 75, 70 to 75 degrees. Got home, got me some supper. Now we're out here. Thinking about this. Thinking about how about them outfit stock car tires and wheels on there. Them tires has already been down the drag strip. Them has too, but they won't be on there. Them things shook and bounced more than a basketball in a in an NBA game. But uh, yeah, this is what we got. We're gonna clean this thing up. We're waiting and hoping for a sponsorship to come through. Uh, I was talking to uh, a gentleman the other day about maybe possibly a sponsorship toward a pressure washer. And uh, we would accept anything in that nature as long as it all goes right so yeah one of the things that i'm wanting to get done on this is uh probably going to take this ac unit out of it for right now um i know i'm not going to throw it away i'm going to pull that out i'm going to pull the condenser out um uh, and uh do some lightening up on the front end of this thing because I pulled a small block out and I'm going to be putting a big block back in it. So we've got some some work to do on this. How about that right there? Ain't that right there? Bright? Yeah, it's bright. So I'm glad to see it. We won't be seeing it tomorrow or the next day because it's supposed to be raining. So, 
as you can see, got the truck hooked up to the trailer. The trailer is sitting a little higher off the ground. That's because we got the stock car in here. <clears throat> we had went to Greer's the other night, Greer's Racing Parts and Fuel. Got some tires, got a few odds and ends. We brought our press in here because we're reworking our springs off of this car. These springs, now, if anybody wants to sponsor one of these stock cars, holler at us, because the spring, the leaf springs on these cars are about $250 a piece. So if anybody wants to sponsor us a set of leaf springs, we would take it. We would accept it. But right now what we're doing is repairing these springs by re-arching them. The left rear in this car was uh, flattened out. And anybody knows when your springs get flattened out, it's uh, they don't work. So <clears throat> we're going to do some work on that. Try to re-arch that spring. Let me get some light on the subject. It's a little better. But anyway, we've got work to do. This car here, we've got the gears back in it. Drive shafts hooked up. So, yeah, we're, we're getting ready to uh, put this one back together. Had to pull the intake off of it. It was borrowed from my brother-in-law. That's the reason why we've got the engine covered up. Um, I've got a, a fresh intake right here. I may work on that tonight, cleaning it up. I may take and paint this intake. Uh, I don't really care for the orange because my motor's black. I don't guess it would really matter. I don't care what it looks like. So, But... Uh, Anyway, that's what we got there. Right here, this is a power glide, as anybody would know. It says it right there, power glide. Okay, this is a dirt track power glide, circle track. It's been built for circle track, all right? See the vent and the little short tube there? Okay, right here, is a direct drive hookup. It replaces the torque converter. All right. Now, somebody tell me if there's a way that you can tell if that shaft is hardened or not. The input shaft. I don't know how to determine the difference between that input shaft and a uh, stock input shaft. All right, guys, I'm back in the shop. I have uh, I pulled the input shaft out of that uh, power glide over there. It was a dirt track power glide, and I got it out here. And I'm going to see if I can turn this thing around here where you can see the part number. and And it's a TCI. Don't know if it's going to focus right there. It's a TCI, which is a racing transmission part. So I'm going to look this number up. It's a 749300 TCI, uh, 8 of 93. So I'm going to say that's a hardened shaft coming from TCI. So that... Uh, I'm going to say that's probably going to save me some bucks. What do y'all think? Anything saves money, right? I'm going to be building a power glide transmission. And if I've already got a hardened input shaft, I just seem to have, have a good hardened input shaft. Anyway, I've got a power glide sitting right over here that I was wanting I'm going to take both of these transmissions to the to a transmission shop that I've got a friend that has one. Anyway, he's going to put a hardened input and hardened output shaft in it. And uh, it's going to cost a few coins to get all this done. And 
if I've already got a hardened input shaft, I just soon use it and save a few coins. You know what I'm talking about? Come on. You see a spool right there. We've got junk trash stacked everywhere. But that there's a third member spool. All right, and there's a third member. Okay, hang on just a second and I'll show you something else. Right there is a set of gears. No, they're not 742s. But uh, these are a set of 389s that I picked up pretty cheap, pretty reasonable for this rear end. And I'm gonna put them on that spool and put everything in that uh, housing right there. And then put them in that housing with those axles. I got that axle and there's an axle right over there. We'll be putting those in the truck. So that will be going in the truck. I've got the big block right over there, right there. You can see the orange right there. That's the big block, 402. And one of these transmissions, either that transmission or the one I've got outside, will be built and going in that truck. And uh, what that'll do is that'll give me a drive line for my big block 402, my truck project. So. We've got a helicopter flying around us over here. I don't think they're coming after me. No, they're circling the neighborhood over here though. Maybe they ain't got nobody running loose. Big black hawk going somewhere. All right, guys, we got this thing. We got the seats. Let me show you. Got the seats out of this. And uh, uh, we can see a little bit more of what we're working with. That part's all right. The floor is not just killer bad, but it has a couple holes in it. And up there in that corner, like it does over here, right there, as you can see. Um, and right there, I believe it or not, I'm not going to worry too much about all this. I may put some patch panels over those and put something up in here just to kind of stop it up a little bit. But for what I'm going to do, I think it's going to be just fine. So I'm uh. We'll see what uh, one need to do under here. I thought about cleaning all this stuff up and painting it and all that, and I got to thinking, no, I'm gonna leave her crusty and rusty, crusty and rusty. So that's what we've got. I have to change brake lines out. The brake lines, get a pair of new calipers for the front, new set of brakes. Uh, blow the fuel line out. Maybe take the fuel tank off of it or check it out. Maybe put some air in the tank and blow, see if I can blow the old fuel out of it. I might do that here in just a few minutes. <laughs> 